good morning and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be fishing the Rapidan, which is in the Shenandoah National Park. As you saw on the way in, it's pretty rough riding uh, for about 10 or 12 minutes. You gotta take it slow, absolutely do not attempt it in anything other than a four x four. So we're talking truck or a Jeep. So this is not my first time at the Shenandoah National Park fishing. Of course, my other video uh, where we fished the Rose River the Rapidan is, well, it's very, very renowned. Uh, folks travel from great distances to come here and fish it. For me, it's about two hours away, but at least from what I've seen, it looks like it's going to have a lot of action. Uh, some very deep pools, uh, fast moving water in some areas, but I'm, I'm gonna plan to use some terrestrials, maybe some greeny weenies, uh, some dry droppers to just target those trout. Uh, all the trout up here are uh, nat uh, natural brook trout. So I don't think there are any other trout up here. I mean, there may be, I don't know. Um, but based on what I've seen, uh, based on my research before going to the Rose River, the only thing I was able to see were just natural brookies. So that's perfectly fine. I mean, they're gorgeous fish, but we're gonna get queued up and uh, I guess start fishing. All right, so we're set up. We have our strike indicator several feet down. We have a scud, pink, a split shot, down to the infamous greeny weenie. So that's worked before in the past. We'll see if it, see if it goes and does it again. on the bottom so the depth is probably pretty good as far as how far we have that strike indicator down Hold in deep. Probably an easier way in here. Yes, there is. Just the hardest way. Slippery rock as well. Whoa, trying to step in between the rocks as opposed to on top of them. That looks like one giant slippery rock. It's gorgeous, look at these boulders. So we're gonna go with the same, same two, the scud with the greeny weenie. Wasn't having much luck at that last pool. So we're gonna try, try our luck once more up here without really switching things up to be, uh, you know, too crazy. But what is absolutely awesome about the Shenandoah National Park is the fact that, you know, as a part of the Appalachian Mountains, all of this was a part of a mountain range that was way larger than the Himalayas. And the natural brook trout that are here have been here since the last ice age. So absolutely amazing. Um, and of course, because the water is 
pristine and uh, clean, cool. It, it provides the perfect environment for them. I mean, look how crystal clear that is. It certainly gives Spring Creek a run for its money. Different type of fishing too. All right, and of course the camera was off. Actually, the GoPro ran out of batteries. I did get one, uh, very small, about five or six inches. And he went after the red San Juan worm that is now tangled up. Come on. Yeah, and so I brought him from, oh wow, this is really tangled. I brought him from where I picked him up, which is essentially was right there, brought him all the way over and hopped off the rock. Um, and again, he was small. I didn't want to keep him out of the water any longer than he needed to be. Um, in fact, he actually slipped through the one of the larger slots of my net. So this wasn't meant to be. Uh, but at least I caught one. Small guy, though. I saw the strike indicator take a dive, and of course, to me, that meant there was a fish on. I did adjust the depth on the strike indicator. I was getting way, way, way too many snags. Caught up on the bottom. And of course, with these rapids, I call them rapids, but you know, with this, uh, all this water that's aerated, it, it doesn't, <laughs> my strike indicator keep, keeps getting caught in it. Uh, and the next thing you know, I, I can't really tell if there's something on. All right, folks. Well, I had a pretty decent sized one on. I didn't see it much, much more than just feeling it on the end dancing. And I got snagged, so I lost everything. So going with this, just a nymph all the way down. And of course the, uh, what do you want to call it? The uh, San Juan worm in red. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get down. Didn't mean to do that. Got a big one on, there we go. That, whoa, yeah, good size. Yeah, there we go, that's probably the one that got off. There we go. See that strike indicator take a dive? All right, let's bring him down. Yeah, pretty decent size. Right into the net. Ooh, look at him. Absolutely gorgeous. What did he go after? Yep, the one I just tied on. All right, whoa. All right, he's fighting. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's, let's put the rod over here. Keep him in the water. That's amazing. All right. Wet both. Yep, see, he's coming out the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he? Yeah, he kicked it out, yeah. I guess he got off the hook. I guess the hook came out and he went, see, that's what happened before. <laughs> right through these slots. So if you come here, uh, just keep that in mind. But absolutely gorgeous of a fish. Yeah, he's pretty decent size, felt it fight. Well, I feel vindicated. Jeez, man. From that one that got off to the one that I didn't catch on camera. And that was bigger than the one I caught earlier. So I'm actually uh, pretty happy that I was able to 
finally catch one. Jeez. Maybe I need a smaller, um, smaller net. Yep, this is what he went after. Right here, this guy. Nice and flashy. Just couldn't resist it. Yeah, couldn't resist it. We're gonna try to repeat that again. All right, so we are a little bit farther upstream. And look how gorgeous that is. Jeez, crystal clear water. There's a couple areas that were really, probably really nice to stop at. Uh, I chose this one. There was also someone camping as well. Um, so, didn't, didn't want to didn't want to stop in someone's uh, campsite, essentially. See what we can uh, see what we can find here. size a snag. test it out over here definitely I can see that it's deeper it's still clear and we may not even have to get our feet wet wow that was pretty cool I just watched I just watched one of those fish go up and inspect it and like nope that's, that's not a first, but I was surprised to see that, even without uh, my polarized glasses on. Yep, got him. Got him. And he took it. And he's freaking out. All right. That's a big boy. Big boy, darn. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, come on, there we go, got him. All right, all right. Look how freaking gorgeous that trout is. Oh man. You know, I'll tell you what, out of all the trout, with the exception of the elusive tiger trout, I think brook trout are the prettiest. I mean, look at those colors. I mean, from up above, that is impossible to see. Absolutely impossible to see. And then of course, when they start flashing around, look at those beautiful reds, got white. Man, absolutely gorgeous. 
All right, I'm gonna manage to get myself a little bit untangled here. I'm gonna lay my rod down. All right, all right. Whoa, yeah, he's freaking out proper. Okay. Lay my rod down. I don't want to get crushed. Get him in the water. All right. So what did he go after? The greeny weenie, of course. The greeny weenie. He didn't want. He wanted greeny weenie. What the hands? Waters. Freaking cold. All right. Let's get you set up there, bud. Very slippery. Very slippery. Got it on the corner of his mouth. All right, back in the water you go. Well, holy cow. All right. Of course, and now my other fly. Let's cut around the net. Keep him in the water. All right, let's place this off to the side. All right, back in the water you go. Yeah, look how gorgeous that fish is. Natural. Natural brook trout. Yeah, he's not too happy about having been caught, but that's quite all right. I'm gonna grab my towel. It only took me four hours to finally catch one. And wow, is he, he beautiful. Take a few pictures of him and I'll let him on his way. Yeah, I'll let him on his way. Hey, look at those colors. Look how gorgeous he is. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, buddy, ready? All right, in the water you go. There he goes. Oh man, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The greeny weenie. Man, that greeny weenie is deadly. Absolutely deadly. Oh, well, I'm gonna manage to get myself untangled here. Uh, 
San Juan worm work, and some nymphs. Outside of that, there is a hatch that's going on. I, I have been seeing things fly around in the air. I have no idea what it is. Um, that was a bee. I have no idea what it is, but I think that uh, a hatch would absolutely work, especially in these uh, these pools, as you can kind of see, where the water isn't nearly moving as quick. Um, I, I have seen, or I did see, a little bit of hot water activity, but then again, i rather just go beneath the surface. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm excited that I caught a fish. Came all the way out here. I'm excited uh, that I'm happy. I guess that's the right word. I'm happy. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.